So, long overdue video. Um, yeah, thought I would make a little video here just to show everyone what I've been up to. Uh, it's been a long time since I've uploaded, mainly because I'm not really focusing on customizing as seriously as I used to, but that doesn't mean that I'm still not doing it in the background. I've done actually some major leaps forward in my sculpting skills and I feel like my customers are now better than they ever have been. And uh, I'll show you what I've been doing recently and um, yeah, I hope you like them. So the first figure or headpiece, whatever you want to call it, that, I, uh, that I've got here is a custom Daysan figure. Um, from I believe the Jedi Outcast games. Um, as you can see, it's a lot more proportionate to the Lego body. The one criticism looking back retrospectively that I would have um, with regards to my figures was the headpieces were maybe a little bit too large and not very clean. Um, so what I'll try to do here is really try to, I suppose, embody that Lego look. So my main aim when customizing is to make my pieces look like they could potentially be Lego released. So I mean, that's a skill in itself. I don't really like those hyper-realistic customs with the massive three, you know, 3D pieces that are coming off. Um, and yeah, they just don't look like Lego. Um, I prefer that kind of classic purist Lego look. So that's the first figure, custom Daysan. Um, second one is a update to my Cellcath headpiece design. Um, so as you can see, it's a lot smaller than it used to be um, and a lot sleeker. So again, sort of fitting in with that idea of making it look like it could be a Lego release piece. Um, what else have I got here? I've got a headpiece just here. I haven't got the body for it yet. I'm doing a chest piece for it, but it's a um, custom dirge headpiece. Um, so for people who don't know who this character is, if you watch that original 2003 Cartoon Network Clone Wars series, this is one of the main villains from, I believe, the first season of that. Um, always liked the character and had made some previous versions of the custom headpiece in the past, but felt like it could do with a, uh, a well overdue upgrade. So yeah, hopefully I can design a chest piece to go with that, much like on the Day Sun figure that can sort of fit over a torso and bulk it out a little bit. Um, what else have I got here? Um, I've been working on a new Darth Tenebrous headpiece as well, um, which I've got here. Um, again, just sort of cleaning it up, making it look nice and sleek. And again, looking like it could potentially be a Lego headpiece as well. Um, I've also done a re, what would you call it? A, a redo, an upgrade to my K Croc headpiece as well. Again, really downsized it, made it a lot smaller, made it sort of fit that Lego style and um, made it nice and proportionate, not too big, which again is probably one of my main criticisms looking back retrospectively at my customs. Um, I've got a custom Trandoshan here that I'm doing for a custom order. Um, so again, it's got that 3D custom sculpted eye patch. And I've also got a custom Gran here as well. Um, you know, I would love it if Lego actually released a orange colored Gran headpiece. But in the meantime, having my own, uh, I suppose we'll just have to do. Uh, what else have I got? I have done a Yariel Hoof custom um, as well. I'm not sure about this one, eh? It looks a little bit I don't know, too realistic. I try to go for that classic Yaddle, um, sorry, not Yaddle, um, classic Yoda style headpiece from the original Lego lineup 2002. Um, with the headpiece, you know, sort of that hyper realistic detail, but no painted features. And it's turned out all right, but I don't know. I'm not completely satisfied with it. Um, but that's all I've really got to show for this video um, so I hope you've enjoyed and um, yeah I do sell all my customs as well um, I've got an eBay page which yeah I might put a link in the description for if you're interested in purchasing any of these but yeah that's what I've been up to and hopefully I 
keep at it and make some cool new customs in the future. But um, yeah, that's all I've got for this one.